Yo guys, what's going on? Monday to 6 here, back to 2004 Toyota Sequoia. And today we have these all-weather WeatherTech floor mats. We have the driver and passenger front. We have the middle seats and we have the rear cargo area. Alright, let's go ahead and get them installed. Yeah, if you ever wonder what makes WeatherTech so unique, here's some bullet points right here on exactly why their floor mats are so awesome. Most importantly, made right here in the U.S. of A. Here I have my WeatherTech floor mats and the cargo mat out here laying in the sun. It's taking shape pretty good. We're going to go ahead and install them. If you guys want to know where to purchase these WeatherTech floor mats, there will be a link down in the description. Here we are at the driver's side. You can see that this is the factory floor mat, 16-year-old Sequoia original floor mat. Fortunately, there's no coming back from this. You can tell right here that all the lettering and the stitching's just gone. You know, this would take a lot of time to try to clean this up, and even if you did, it may not look brand new. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna remove this and we're gonna install our WeatherTech floor mats. All right, gonna come over here. We're gonna grab our driver's side. Here we are with the brand new WeatherTech floor mat. Should just slide into place. Just like that. Man, that looks awesome. Look at that floor mat. This WeatherTech floor mat sure does look really good in here. It's got all these raised ledges, so if you spill anything here, you know, mud, snow, water, anything like that, should be able to maintain it all within that floor mat also going to keep your carpet nice and clean should be easy to take out and rinse off with a hose same with this passenger side here you can see that this floor mat's just worn out the sequoia lettering right here is just completely faded everybody stepped on it from 16 years of use so we're going to go ahead and take this out and we'll get our passenger weather tech floor mat all right here we are let's grab the passenger side just like the driver's side, this should just slide right into place. Simple as that. Here we go, we got our WeatherTech floor mat in here. Looking good. We are in the rear middle seats here. You can see this floor mat. It's just seen better days. So we're going to go ahead and remove this. And we'll come over here and remove that floor mat as well. Floor mat out of here. All right, let's come over here, get our middle seat. You can tell it's all one big piece. Nice, that means it'll cover everything. Here we are. It's going to take just a little finesse to get this down in here. Just got to kind of push it into place. Let's go ahead to this side and push that weather tech mat into place. Right, here we are at the rear. Here is the rear weather tech. You can see it just covers everything. Looks really good. Super easy to install. Just takes seconds. Just get it into place. And the floor mat should just go right in there. All right, here we are at the rear. Yeah, this little factory cargo mat here. That's just, yeah, we know what to do with it. Let's just, uh, let's go ahead and remove these rear seats so we can get this cargo WeatherTech floor mat in here. Okay, let's come over here. Get our rear cargo area floor mat. We have the rear seats removed. We're going to go ahead and put this cargo liner in here. Installs within seconds. Look at that. Perfect form fitting. Plenty of room for the seat belts. It's got this lip on it in case you spill anything. You know there's any debris, any construction equipment in here. It'll just keep everything contained in this WeatherTech floor mat. Man, does that look good. So if you want to run the rear seats, WeatherTech did give you the option here. They have these cutouts for the rear seats. If you want to, you can go ahead. It's like a little template there. You can just cut that out. If you want to run the rear seats, if not, just leave it alone. But man, does it look awesome. I like to run the third row seats in my Sequoia. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut out these holes right here. All right, we're going to go ahead and just cut out these patterns right here. This cuts super easy so just be really careful make sure you go slow the 
This is a brand new blade on my box cutter. So just go ahead and cut out this pattern. Alright, there's one design cut out. Let's go ahead and repeat it for all the rest. It's super easy to cut out those holes for the rear seats. Just get yourself a nice box cutter. Be careful, make sure you don't cut yourself. But alright, let's get these rear seats in and see how it looks. There we go, we got one rear seat in. Looking good. Cut out that template, makes just enough room to put those seats in. Alright, let's get in the other one. Looks awesome. Look at that rear cargo liner. All one piece. Looking good. This is the third row passenger seating. Looks awesome. Covers everything. Your feet can go on there. Capture all the dirt, debris, water. One more look at the front WeatherTech floor mats. It sure looks awesome. Totally changes the look of the vehicle. Makes it look a lot cleaner. The uh, WeatherTech floor mats are going to be useful. They're actually going to be functional. Just a really nice upgrade for your Sequoia. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Monday to 6. Out.